3.37 in the morning, went to bed about half an hour ago, and uh, then there was a fire alarm. Very exciting. They think it's a malfunction. Mm. <laughs> so happy. But uh, I think most of us are just going to go back to bed. Not dead. Pretty sure we're not dying. And um, yeah, really, really a nice morning here. Okay. Yeah, if you notice, Caroline looks the exact same. Oh my god, you feel like it's falling out. Hi guys, it's 3.30 in the morning. We have to go to Canada in three hours. And uh, there was a fire alarm or something. It's really exciting. We're so happy to be here together. So happy. Oh. Yeah, it was a sound like that, but much louder. I like when it says, a turn shot. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was <laughs> thrilling. <laughs> no, I needed that because I didn't know what was happening. So I needed a description. I needed some description. Three, six. Half the cast. None of the management. <laughs> All the cast, none of the management. <laughs> not Emily, not Heather, not Greg. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, Someone's absolutely stories. not. I like the bike. The cast will figure it out. <laughs> Sprinkler system. Hey guys, welcome to another week of Flash Dance. In case anyone was wondering, we are safe. <laughs> I believe they fixed the fire alarm, and what they determined was that the there was a leak in the attic, I think, and it was triggering the alarm as if the sprinklers were going off. So last we were told we were safe to go to bed, but the lights were still flashing, like the fire alarm lights were still flashing. So there isn't one in my room, so I'm about to go outside because we're about to get on the bus and we'll see. Hopefully they fixed it because last we checked the fire people were here and they couldn't seem to get it shut off, so hopefully it did for the sake of everyone who was trying to sleep at 3 and 4 a.m. this morning. And so, yeah, we are getting ready to get on the bus. It's almost 8 a.m. and we are headed to Canada today. We're so excited. We made it to Canada. Woo! <laughs> We're walking into the theater right now. Um, it took us forever to get through the border cross, so we went just straight to the theater. We haven't even gone back to, we haven't even checked into our hotel yet, which is what we usually do. But we are now heading in. We are in Regina, Canada. Thank you. Oh, this is kind of cool. Art decoration. Okay, our company meeting's in like 10 minutes, so we gotta hurry. Hi, Katie. So I am excited to officially announce that I will be going on for Miss Wild this week, at least this next week. And so we are getting ready to do some put in rehearsals of me going into the Miss Wild track and also of some ensemble members going in to cover my track. So we're on stage right now and we're about to do that right now. We're so excited. I'm really excited to bring to life this track that I have been working hard to uh, cover all the last five months that we've been doing this so I'm really really excited and I'm getting ready to bring you some Miss Wild Shade this week flash dance. <laughs> Oh, 
job on my French twist. Oh wow, that does look beautiful. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yes. Oh, she's a gem. All right, five minutes to the show. Gotta get ready. I'm in my Miss Wild costume and I'm ready to go. So this is my Miss Wild costume. I have to take the video in the mirror because otherwise you can't see the whole thing. But I have this nice passion meat top and my glasses, which I think feel pretty fierce. And then Amanda did a beautiful job on my hair. I think I showed it to you earlier. But it's so fun. I love being Miss ah. Wild. So I just finished my first show as Miss Wild. It was so fun. It was kind of crazy because I was bouncing back and forth between the Miss Wild track and my own track. So it was kind of crazy. My brain was all over the place, but it was so fun and I had a blast and I can't wait for the rest of the week. Hey guys, we have an exciting announcement. Our old Instagram is no longer accessible, so we made a new one. It is now the handle Flashdance Tour, which is like our Twitter account. So they're both the same handles. So make sure if you followed our old one to go follow our new one, or even if you haven't, Follow our new one. Follow us. <laughs> yes, follow us. We're going to put all the updates on there, and it's going to be just as great. So yeah. catch up with all the stuff that we have for the rest of the tour. Yeah. Yes, and these two have done an Instagram takeover. Today. So make sure you go check it out. Yeah. And it, our new Instagram handle is Flashdance Tour. So Flash make sure tour. you go like it. Follow us. Yes, you guys, you guys, we realize that our better days 
from me. No matter where we're from, this could still become all you say. All I got it could be. Don't stop but doing what you're doing. Hi everyone, my name is Amanda. I'm the head of wardrobe for the Flashdance National Tour. Um, so I am responsible for setting up everything costume related during the day from the dressing rooms and on stage and making sure everything's ready to go when the cast gets here and maintaining all of the costumes and uh, shoes and hats and prop uh, costume props that are in the show. Um, I got involved with flash dance because I worked with the same company last year for Jekyll and Hyde where I was the wig designer and head of wardrobe as well. And it has been a lot of fun and I can't wait to continue with the rest of our tour. Hey guys, so I'm here with Dana. Hi. She plays Tess in our show and we are performing in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan Yay. in Canada, which is actually Dana's hometown. Yes. <laughs> yeah, hi everyone. I was born in Saskatoon and grew up a little north, but it is so exciting to be here in Saskatoon and this is actually a rehearsal room that I um, auditioned for my first musical theater school in, and I got in. That's awesome, of course, of course, so, she's amazing. Yeah, so this building has a lot of history for like why I'm here being part of Flashdance, doing what I'm doing today. Yes, so and you said you've seen a lot of national tours growing up in this theater that we're performing in? Yes, actually, that's one of the, part of the really important history is that, um, you know, a lot of times, as actors, we, we tell ourselves, like, oh, we're, we might have an opportunity to inspire someone tonight. And it's just really present for me that this very theater is the one that we would come to maybe one or two times a year, and I'd get to watch a national tour. It's the first national tour that I ever got to see was here, and I was one of those kids sitting out in that audience going, just wow, look at the spectacle and the singing and the dancing and wanting to be a part of that. And over the years, it's the place I thought, well, maybe I can do that. And I saw Chicago, and that's where I started to kind of discover a style that I really loved. And um, then coming and coming back here t two years ago with West Side Story, and then again now with, with this Lashes. amazing woman with blush. <laughs> it's just like unbelievable. Yeah, it's been so fun. It's been so exciting for us to be able to come to Dana's hometown and experience yeah. this excitement with her and she's been yeah. showing us around and giving us some great tips <laughs> on the city so we have loved performing here so much we actually yeah. sadly yeah. leave tomorrow morning but we've had a great few shows here and it's been awesome to be in Dana's hometown yeah <laughs> so go follow your dreams if it's theater or whatever it is just go for it yes you can yeah. do it yes <laughs> Hi, my name is Joey Burbach. I am the head electrician of Flashdance, so I'm responsible for making sure all the lighting gets up every day so that everyone can see the beautiful faces on stage. Um, I got involved with theater in undergraduate. I started in music, and theater just called to me because I didn't like the performing aspect, so I'm behind the stage now. Um, my favorite part of Flashdance is probably just seeing everyone up on stage and seeing their bright faces come in every day. Uh, so yeah, that's just a little bit about me. So it's been a little bit since I have kind of sit down and talk to you guys straightforward. Um, the vlogs have been a little bit different, which I've been excited about because I've been able to show you guys some different things, different aspects and different viewpoints on how the tour is like for us. But I want to take a second and kind of bring it back to how it all started, a little selfie action with the vlog. Um, yeah, so we are back in the USA. Canada was wonderful for us. We had a great time. People were so friendly, so great. It was wonderful meeting so many of Dana's family and friends in her hometown in Saskatchewan, Canada. And it was so fun. Actually, Canada was not as cold as we were all predicting, so that was a nice break for us. So thank you, Canada, for not being too freezing. Um, yes, we are back in the USA and today was pretty crazy. We did a border cross and of course I can't take my phone into the border cross. They're very, very strict on that. We crossed pretty easily. They checked our passports, scanned our passports, and then we were on our way back to the US. And we had a show tonight in North Dakota. That's where we are right now. And things just kind of move really quickly. It's 
same show as always, of course, which I've shown you guys before. And we are headed out to Kansas tomorrow morning. So we leave North Dakota and head to Kansas tomorrow. And we are excited to start another week of Flash Dance. It's so fun as always. I'm in the gym right now. We had a show tonight and it's after midnight and I didn't get my workout in yet for the day. So I went for a run um, and it's quiet in here. So that's where I decided to vlog today since it's after midnight and actually now probably close to 1 a.m. So I didn't want to wake anyone up by vlogging in the hallway. Um, so here I am in the gym vlogging some selfie action. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who watches these every week, who supports us, who's following us on our social media, which reminds me, we got a new Instagram, which Tanisha and Aramie and I were talking about a little bit earlier in the vlog. So make sure you follow our new Instagram account, at Flashdance Tour, that is our new handle. And we're gonna be doing some exciting new things with that, where every week we are hoping to have an Instagram takeover by other cast members, different cast members each week. So we are trying to get that up and running this past week. Aramie and Tanisha did a wonderful takeover, so be sure you check that out, go follow us, like like it, share it, everything you can to give us the most um, amount of support that you guys can, which you do all the time, and it means the world to us. So thank you so, so much, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for following us again on Flash Dance.